Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour over top of a pearl pour, so pretty typical of what I normally do. Um, and so here I'm just showing you how I prop my edges. Uh, this is twofold so that you don't get kind of the canvas showing through because of the thin paints on the edges as well as uh, it helps the design to stick to the edges as well. Uh, so I usually leave it till it's tacky and then I go ahead and lay my base paint. So this is the consistency of my base paint. It is very thin. If you look here closely, uh, you will see that it literally sinks immediately. My popsicle stick is not far from the top. This is the uh, satin enamel recipe that I use for the colored pearl pours. I do have a mixing video, so I will link that above uh, so that you can see how I mix my paints for the colored pearls on the as the base. So basically what that means is you use an untinted base and then you're able to tint it to whatever color you want to. So this is actually a Juniper Shimmer from Porridge Posse that I'm using as my base coat and uh, it's such a beautiful color. I did a couple of tests, um, tiles on it and I really liked the way that it, um, that it looked when it uh, sort of started to sell up. So it's, it's a gorgeous color too. And in fact, my, I, I was, um, trying to figure out some new colors and I, because I mean, I mean, of course I'm going to be using blues this time, which is what I normally use. And I love blues. Um, but I was kind of looking for something a little bit different. So I texted my sister and I was asking her, what should I use? And of course it's funny because I was thinking the first thing she's going to say is sage green. And she came back to me in my text message and said, sage green. And I literally, I was, I was laughing so hard because I just thought, oh, how well do I know my sister that she is going to say sage green. But, um, yeah, I, I'm really happy that she did say that because I don't use it very often, but this color is a really pretty base. Um, this is my Amsterdam Titanium White. It is in a golden bottle because I do reuse my bottles. And that's the recipe for um, my puddle pour. So that's this paint that's going on now, as well as my Dutch pour colors that you're going to see me lay here shortly. So thank you, Lauren, for uh, suggesting this color palette. And uh, so what I, you'll see me kind of testing right there to see how the white is moving and so I added a little bit more because it wasn't moving quite as much as I wanted it to so I tilted around basically I kind of tilt in a clockwise fashion so you'll see me tilt it almost in a circle so I go that upper right corner lower right corner lower left corner and then the upper left corner which I'm gonna tilt around and actually this juniper shimmer it reacted really fast and I'm I don't normally love it when the pearl paints react really fast because it causes wonky cells which you're gonna see it does because I, I need to get enough paint off to make sure that it sells all the way around and that I'm not keeping too much paint on. And so while I was tilting to make sure that I didn't have too much paint on, it started selling up on the other end. And then when I started bringing it back, it started getting wonky. So I did go ahead and I will be adding in a little bit more paint here in a second. Uh, you'll see that um, I, I, I don't like wonky cells, especially in my pearls. I don't, I don't know, it bothers me so much when I have wonky cells. So, 
some people are fine with them and they're I mean they are fine for some people but for me personally I just can't handle them so I did go ahead and add in a little bit more of the white here over top and I stretch it out really quick so that I wouldn't make the ones the cells on the other end wonky and then what I do is I go ahead and I just kind of wait to see what is going to happen with um, these cells so I normally go into a pour with an idea of what I am going to be doing but I really do like to wait that 10-15 minutes because I like to see where the cells pop up and see where I had um, added in that extra white. Uh, the cells in that, that lower right hand corner actually turned out really pretty. I didn't think they would. So I am glad I waited because then I can salvage some of the really pretty pearls that I'm seeing and then kind of create my composition so that's what I use those white that white uh, Amsterdam I put in just lines as to where I want uh, the color to go so that I have kind of some guidelines not that my Dutch pour portion of this are gonna stay within those lines but at least when I pour my colors down, I can kind of have an idea of where, what I'm gonna be doing. So that was my first color, uh, that Amsterdam um, greenish blue. It was mixed with uh, Shelly's Masquerade Shimmer. Well, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Shelly's Masquerade Shimmer by Porridge Posse. Uh, now I am going to be laying down the Art Alchemy Teal Blue. Now, somewhere in... This is a beautiful color, by the way. But it doesn't always react great. It starts to break apart sometimes. And so I'm not really sure why that is, but... Um, I did kind of notice that in this painting it did do that when it dried so I went back in with some brushwork this is the um, Sleeping Beauty turquoise shimmer from Porch Posse that I just put on uh, and it's a really pretty color too I put this golden fluids iridescent copper um, my sister said to add copper in and I was really afraid of it I, sometimes copper takes over when I do a pour and so I wasn't really sure so I just added in a little bit and and then I added the iridescent cup oh, I'm sorry iridescent silver over top now I wish I had put a little bit more of this copper in because I didn't it did not show up at all I have no like it didn't show up at all and then that's the juniper shimmer I put in a little bit more throughout the the painting so I'm gonna go ahead here now and I am going to blow it out uh, oh I forgot I'm, I'm gonna put the Amsterdam white over top I love this white it causes such pretty lacing so that's my purpose in adding it on the top um, before I blow out so and I love this color, this darker blue color, and I just wanted to make sure that I have enough in there so that it gives me some dimension in this in this blowout. So, okay, I'm gonna blow it out, uh, and then I'll probably pop back in and kind of explain what I'm doing. Okay, thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate it so much. Um, I appreciate you watching. Um, if you like what you're seeing, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you're notified each time I put out a new painting. And I really, really do appreciate um, all the support you guys give with your comments, your liking and, and subscribing to my channel. So much appreciated. And all those of you who are 
um, have donated to my channel. Um, if you'd like to donate, there are ways to do so in the description box below. And yeah, I, I really do appreciate it. And I am going to just let you guys watch the rest of this video. I do do quite a bit of tweaking and um, even after the video um, is done and the composition has dried I do go back in with my brushes and kind of touch things up and um, kind of soften things add a little bit more dimension um, I don't show that part on video just because I I don't do well with the camera rolling during that part. Um, I, it's actually super therapeutic for me just to kind of go at it. So I'm not going to show that part, but you will see the final dried results uh, also in the end of this. So let me know what you guys think about this one, y'all. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.